Welcome to this video. Today we'll be looking at this. Now I've had her for a while. This is one of the uh, Dapple Black Label engines. Now I've had her for oh god, how long has it been? A couple months. And I have the A4 Silver Fox 2512 Eleanor Silver. Well, because I'm not very much a fan of the Mallard itself. I like the Loco, not so much the colour. So, yeah. Loco's not actually in the box at the moment. She's currently sitting on the line behind the uh, desk. So, if I just show what you get, if I can just get the cover off. The cover's off. Put that down there. Okay, so you get your owner's manual. Which, as you can see, is quite nice. That tells you everything you need to know about the coding. Tells you where a little switch is for the smoke, to turn it on and off in analog mode. Where to oil, how to connect it. Connect, there's quite a big connector underneath the cab. So, yeah, that's that. Put that down there. A little warning about the packing that you'll see in a minute. So that's that. And certificate. Basically to say that my one was the 144th produced out of 320 for this livery. So that's quite nice. Just put that down there. And you also get your 20 month repair warranty, which is still valid for me, I suppose. Once you get into it, you've met with this farm. There's the rigid packing that they tell you about. Normally, you can get a glimpse of it through these two holes. So, let's just pull that piece off. Okay, this would be where your main body of the engine is. That would be your tender. Now in the box you also get an adapted wall base for under the cab for shorter corners. Or so they say anyway. I've never had to use it. You also get a replacement cab to tender roof bit. And extra pipe work, which I have as well not used. I have been unwilling to make modifications to this engine so far. You also get this. Now this is quite interesting. This is the replacement cab wheel. So if you want to haul more than a 10 coach train or you've got gradients on your railway, and the silver fox struggles they give you this now if you can notice there's a black ring or rubber on the wheels these are actually traction wheels and it also comes with a spanner for the uh, connecting rods so that is Something I've not seen before. Thankfully, I don't actually need to use it. I only pull a seven car train. Now, what it mentioned about rigid packing is this. When the thing's in here, this bit is in the cab. And because of how hard it is to get your fingers in here to get the engine out, you can actually lift this bit and then that will pull the cab towards you, then you'll be able to get your hands on it. So that's that, that's basically the box, the engine comes wrapped in paper and plastic, I've now actually ever put it back in here. In the box you'll also get a uh, little spout, this is for refilling the smoke unit, which I'll show in a minute. And these are the two oils you can get. The blue one is the thinnest 
more liquidy but produces good smoke and burns really well has quite a strong smell to it so if you got one of these you would know the uh, intense smell this one gives off if you're using it for a while you will need ventilation in where you're using it so yeah you will need ventilation for that one this one I've used more this stuff's thicker and can lead to air blocks in the uh, smokestack which is easy to clear, you just blow down the funnel but this is the uh, low odour smoke oil so it doesn't smoke you out as much but it produces as much smoke burns off quicker but still produces a good smoke now moving on to the engine itself has been here the whole time now this is the silver fox itself today I'll be operating it off my little sprog free unit down here which is coupled with my PC so yeah I can control everything for me I've got all my trains logged in up there the uh, decoder this uses is not actually on the list of decoders so I've had to guess or pick one close enough to it okay I didn't pick one close enough I just pretty much guessed a random one so I can operate her today so let's just take a look at the front if I can get all my stuff out the way let's turn the lights on Helps off with our trap power on. Okay, um, there we go. So as you can see, nice forward lighting. You can adjust the brightness. You may have already noticed I've got it on the rolling road. That's because I've got a small length of test track here. And it's overpopulated at the moment. <laughs> It's normally meant for one engine at a time. Now you can already hear this here. So yeah, she's making the sound as she would normally do. Now, when you're filling them, you take the funnel. Just mute it for a minute. Put it, put the funnel down the funnel. For this, I'll be using the nonsense stuff. So you take the lid off that. Five drops is more than enough for this. Usually, I put eight drops down in that. So now it's a mere case of making sure the fluid goes down the funnel. <laughs> Little blow in the funnel helps clear it. Now if I uh, turn that one off, turn that one on, get the lights turned on and turn function 7 off. Now, another cool feature of this is if you see that forward whistle just in front of the funnel. If I push function 2. Now if you hold push function 8 and lock that one on. So that's the simulated whistle they'll talk about. Then you've also got um sorry I'm forgetting what my functions are here. Just need to 
hook that up quickly. It does say all the functions in the book. Which I am trying to reach. Whoops. Here we go. So yeah, short whistle and long whistle for F9. Only F2 triggers a simulated whistle. And you've got three, which is coal shoveling, which if I... You've got a hole. Now, these are standard features. So it lights that cap up pretty well. Um, then four is the injector. Okay, now function five when stopped is a single two, when moving increases the chuff intensity. So let's give it a single two, which was just that. Now six is the opposite, when stopped, double two, when moving decreases the intensity. So that's that one. Uh, then we've got the blower, which is 10. Just turn that off. 11, which is safety valves. Now this can be quite loud and it will be loud for me today. Good. Whew, that was loud. Regret in doing that. 12 is the flange squeal, so let's turn that on. Thirteen is coupling. Okay, that one's not playing today. Fourteen is okay. Sequence long short short medium whistle. Now that one does not get a simulated steam on it. 15, now that's AWS horn. Now we've run out of this page so we have to turn the page over to get the rest. Now these ones are interesting. 16, AWS bell. Now I'm just going to put something on that. So we've got Let's see, 16. So, now, these ones are interesting because chat 1, 3, 4 and 5 use the same set of four chat sequences between them. So that's something to uh, note. So if we have chat 1, which is 17. 17, Nineteen. Boards on at the end of the platform. Twenty. Just bit forward, right one. Thank you. And twenty-one. Right one, platform one. Right one, platform one. Now, one that I do like is eighteen, which is Crew Chat Two, Guard the Driver. Now, bear in mind, I run this with a rake of seven Hornby Pullmans with the uh, light on the tables. So it is the right length train for this message. Morning driver, we've got seven carriages today for 239 tons. Thank you. So, yeah, that one I quite like. That's all the functions. 
now is the bit we uh, would like to see. As I said, I've got her on the rolling guard so she can just... <laughs> Sorry, steam block. As I said. Now, the thing I like about this is it's a fan driven smoke unit. So, when calibrated correctly, it is lovely. And, um, as you can see, I'm not really going too fast. Something to know, she is quite the quick engine. Uh, we're almost at 50% here. By now she's going pretty quick. Now, steam adjusts to what speed you're going. Fifty percent. Just gotta wait for the engine to get there. And already, yeah, you can see how I'm smoking out my uh, room. So that's fifty percent, as you can see. Okay, let's give her a uh, nice long whistle. Back up to full speed. Here's I've got a smoke block. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much at full speed. Stop. Put a little bit of speed back on. Now for the price tag, it is expensive to own one of these. <laughs> now, one thing I'm going to mention, if you do get a smoke block, you will see her venting out of under here. Because there are overflow areas for the oil, if you overfill her. So, yeah. Don't be careful. <coughs> okay, as I said, I was using the uh, nonsense stuff. Yeah, if you're in a small environment, which I am at the moment, then yeah, it will smoke you out still as well as the entire house so good to use this engine in a large environment or make sure you've got some way of air circulation and ventilation now one thing I do quite like of this cause of how it is is when the smoke just sticks to the side of the engine but yeah she pulls the seven car train like it's nothing. Now, gonna mention it is entirely die cast metal for this entire unit. Just getting some looks around it at the moment. 
Now, this one's got the Accordor style tender. As you can see, they've put a little window in the side. Now, one thing I'm just going to warn you of is this bobby is quite warm at the moment. It's not too warm, it's just. Okay, now I've got a problem. But yeah, they are worthwhile engines. Just going to say that much. So yeah, that's my look at the engine. Unfortunately, my railway is not fully assembled at the moment. Otherwise, I'd show you a, yeah, a video of her running with her raker carriages. That'll be a later upload, I'm assuming. I hope you like this video, feel free to subscribe or if you want any advice or tips, as long as I know the answer, comment below.